Morning Vegan Food Explorers. So, after last week's debacle with the Costa Coffee vegan bacon bat, we decided to take matches into our own hats. I've just been to Lidl for some 19p vegan white rolls, and we've got some top quality vegan bacon. Please don't forget to subscribe as we have loads of awesome content coming up. You get 10 rashes in here, so it's not too bad. We're going to be cooking all of it and we're going to be splitting it in half and chucking it in a bun each or a bat, or a cob, whatever, wherever you are in the country, um, whatever one you call it. Um, nutrition wise, per 100 grams. So the biggest, most in, in, interesting thing is per 100 grams, that's 10 grams of protein, which is pretty cool. Um, and that is because it's made basically with wheat protein. The fat with bacon, that is where the flavor is going to come from. But this has 12.7 grams of fat per 100 grams, and it has 1.5 grams of fat per 100 grams of saturated fat. That is relatively high, but compared to non-vegan bacon, it is ludicrously less, It like a lot less. A lot, a lot, a lot less. Oh, right, let's get one rasher and have a little look. Already it's, oh, the smell is amazing, actually. Look at that. I don't think you could tell that, that maybe a little bit I was gonna say you couldn't tell it's but better not bacon maybe just when you look at it a bit closer but streaky bacon pretty damn good hey vegan food explorers so it's cooking and it's smelling really, really good. Interesting, the texture, I would say it's very, very similar to the this isn't and the smell and the look and the feel. Right, let's go with the taste test. Look at that, that looks really, really good. It was so good, I had to stop actually to take a photo of it. But, right, we've got a bit of ketchup. We've actually heated the bun up so it's nice and soft, nice and warm. Let's go for it. Okay, that is really good. Let's seep me out. I'm going to give that a good, 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 really good um, rating. When I was cooking it, it fried up real nice. That fat, they really worked hard. So it hasn't got loads of fat, but... The fat that's in there, it comes out, it had a little bit of oil, but it was sizzling away, bubbling, really nice. It definitely didn't lose any juiciness. Definitely got a lot of juiciness. And um, smell, really, I mean, the smell of my kitchen right now smells like I've been cooking bacon. Texture, pretty good. Flavour, when I'm eating it, it's not super duper bacon, but it's it definitely, for a vegan bacon, in 2021, definitely ticks a big, big box. I'm not sure if it's quite there for this, isn't, but that is really, really nice. I think, I think if you need to tick a box and just scratch that itch of I want a vegan bacon butty or in your fried breakfast, it would definitely do the job really, really well. Would it trick a a non-vegan? No way. Like no, it 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 just isn't bacon. It's not got that because bacon is soft and crisp. And it's combining those that vegan bacon just can't do at the moment. If you're looking for, if you're a vegan and you want to scratch that itch of vegan bacon, you could do a lot worse than this. So definitely get down to Plant Kitchen, Marks and Spencers, pick one up. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you in the next video. I just had to add this in. Mickey, the ultimate bacon critic, absolutely loved it. Thumbs up.